okay we've, we've gotten the netting, the netting was outside and it had to be rolled out and stripped of uh, any old debris and weeds and knots and grass in it. Uh, once we cleared that, took them all out, then three of us have rolled it back in again and we've rolled it in such a way that so when we come into the black house we're going to place it onto the roof um, on the way it was taken off. So we started at the very bottom, the three men, one in the centre, one in the left hand side, one on the right hand side and together we would gradually roll the net out. Now bear in mind you've got someone on top of the thatch. Uh, so he's the one controlling us to the left and to the right. Once we've rolled it right across to the other side we then start replacing the anchor stones and the large stones at the bottom to hold the net in the place and hold the straw in place. You know these are quite big robust stones yeah. It's quite simple. Once the net's rolled out they're then placed in firmly and against the um, straw and the netting. With the anchor stones then, uh, with the column who's on the roof, we've got the, um, the, we have to use the coconut rope. The coconut rope at the far end is tied around the, the beam that sits up on the right hand side. It's then uh, weaved in such a way back and forward, left and right, so there's myself and another colleague on each side. He then, Colin indicates to us when he's throwing the rope over exactly where he wants us to place the stone. So, you know, the stone just be placed in like so. It'll be done exactly the same on the other side and then put into place. And that would be the stone placed in the place uh, from the under the coconut rope.